Hey guys, Bernie General here, back with another video. Sitting here watching the Navy Jack fly. And uh, I'm doing this video just to tell you a little story of how I came to know and respect the Confederate Cross. And subsequently, all the Confederate flags and the Confederacy itself. So, uh, most of you don't know this because I've probably never said it on my channel that I can remember. Uh, I was born in Alabama. And spent my young life there. So from the time I was none to the time I was about yeah, in kindergarten, I was in Alabama. Then I moved to Vegas. And I've been raised by a southern family. My grandparents are both from Alabama. My dad, who I wasn't raised by, but I still keep in touch with, also from Alabama. Now, I was raised around this flag, and I saw it really regularly. I mean, you know, it was just a normal thing to me. Wore it on hats, had t-shirts of it. I didn't really know what it meant at the time. I just, uh, I knew it was a cool-looking flag. That was about all I knew. But I would say around, oh, maybe first grade, I got two games for my new PlayStation 2 that I had just gotten. And that was Civil War, uh... Civil War Secret Missions, and Civil War A Nation Divided. And when I got into the game, I noticed, because I didn't know about Civil War at the time, I noticed it was North America versus the Southern States of America. And of course, I was raised to love the South, uh, so I always picked the South. And that game actually taught me a lot, you know, it taught me a little bit, really, about the Confederacy. You know, the brave men that fought for them, and, and so a lot of the battles that took place. Um, I used to play that game, those games, all day, every day. And I would hear them, you know, I'd hear the NPCs in the game shout, Oh, for the Confederacy, and you know, this one's for Uncle Robert, stuff like that. Uh, and um, eventually, I started to learn from my grandparents what the Civil War was. The War Against the States. Or war between the states, I guess. Um, but that's when I kind of found out what the Confederacy was. How they were mostly poor farmers simply protecting their land and their rights. <laughs> and from there I learned about the southern flag. And what it really meant. And mind you, I'm still in first grade, so I was about maybe nine, ten, probably less. I can't remember, I'm bad at math. Um, but anyway, uh, so, you know, I look at this flag and I go, huh, so really this flag represents where I come from, and, you know, then I started, uh, you know, go forward a few years, maybe, maybe f third, fourth grade, maybe fifth grade, uh, we learned a little bit about the Civil War in elementary school, and surprisingly, uh, by then I was in Vegas, by the way, I'm gonna get out of the car because it's hot. By then I was in Vegas, and surprisingly, I had a teacher that liked to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We started in the book, and he said, about half of what this book says, I'm going to have to fact, I'm going to have to tell you the other side of the story, because, uh, you guys will find out later that the winners of wars are who write the history. So, you know. The, the book, they didn't really depict Confederates as evil. They more just less depicted them as not right. But um, my teacher would clarify along the way as we were going uh, through the book on the Civil War. Uh, you know, the state's right, the, you know, what the Confederacy was really all about. And mind you, I was still wearing Confederate t-shirts and whatnot with Confederate hats and you know, I asked my teacher, like, the book says that this is wrong. Is it? Teacher says, no. There's nothing wrong with it. You're showing your pride for where you come from. So, I always learned that the Confederate flag was a thing about pride. Then come seventh grade, my history teacher, Mr. Cox, I still remember his name. He was a great history teacher. Because we learned a lot more about the Civil War. And mind you... This is a black man that's saying this, and not a black man from the South, either. 
just a black man who really knows his history. And he was really good at teaching it, too. I was always interested in his class. I really loved his class. But uh, he, he was going along in the book and explaining. Because uh, I remember specifically the book saying uh, the war on slavery. And Mr. Cox clarified the war was not about slavery until around the Battle of Gettysburg. Before that, it you know it wasn't about slavery. It was about states' rights. Now, slavery was a part of the war. Quite obviously, it was a part of the war. Or else they wouldn't be mentioning it as a part of the war. But it wasn't number one issue. Even after the Gettysburg Address and the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't about slavery. Robert E. Lee didn't like slaves. He just had to accept it because some of his family owned slaves. So, this whole time I've always been taught the Confederate flag. It means pride, it means heritage, and it means, you know, it means small government. It means power to the citizen. And I firmly believe that because as I've gotten older and I've done my own research, I've found a lot, of, a lot of it to be true. Now, not all of it's true. People that support the flag lie too. Albeit not as much as anti-flag people. Uh, you know, but there's certain things. Some people in the South will deny that slavery ever even happened. Which obviously is completely wrong and completely stupid. Because it did happen. But the South wasn't the only ones guilty of it. So that was just my little story of why I love this flag so much. Why I support it and why I fly one. Now, uh, you can get upset all you want. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. It's called criticism, and it's called differing opinions. And everybody's allowed to have their own. That's the beauty of America. But uh, I'm going to keep flying my flag, and I'm going to keep supporting my flag as long as I live. And I'll teach my children to do the same. So, uh, yeah, it's just a little video. I hope you guys liked seeing the old thing fly. I need to get a new bloodstained banner as uh, mine. Sadly, it was ripped off of its pole the other night, and it hit the ground, so it's I'm scheduling it to be respectfully retired by burning. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, you know, tell me what you guys believe. I really do like to hear other people's opinions. I don't like to have a one-sided, one-sided story.